Cake 37. <laughs> okay, I want to talk to you. Um, I probably shouldn't be smiling so much. Okay, I want to talk to you about anti squat. Okay, anti squat is a wonderful uh, characteristic that is achieved through the use of this special linkage system that's custom made just for this bike. But in order to first understand anti-squat, we have to understand squat and where it comes from. So let's say this bike weighs 400 pounds. And um, let's say that the center of gravity is somewhere around here. If you took a forklift with one tongue and slid it right under the center of gravity and lifted, the bike would lift up, perfectly balanced, fine. So that's the weight of the motorcycle and the center of gravity. Now the load is different. Let's say, for conversation's sake, that the load is perfectly divided between the front tire and the rear. There's 200 pounds there, there's 200 pounds there. So the bike is 400, the load is two and two, 200 and 200. Now you accelerate and everything changes. So as you accelerate, the force of acceleration, so remember your center of gravity is here, the, the third element here is the point of rotation, which is the pavement where the tires touch the pavement. That's, that's the point that everything rotates on, the floor. So you can visualize this yourself. If the center of gravity is here and we have generated a force of acceleration, what's gonna happen? It's, it's gonna rotate, the point of rotation, it's gonna rotate back. And when it rotates back, the weight of the motorcycle doesn't change at all. But the load changes dramatically. Now there's no longer 200 pounds on the front and 200 pounds on the rear. Now there's no pounds on the front and 400 pounds on the rear. And 400 pounds on the rear makes the rear shock and the spring compress, which creates squat. And squat is bad. We don't want squat. Because we talked about earlier how the trail is important and and gives you the ability to turn and maintain a turn. So when you squat, your trail extends out, your forks extend out, you lose the ability to turn. So you're in the turn and you've got your final apex and here you go and you start to dial in the throttle and you've lost the ability to turn. Now the, you're running out of road, you're home on the paint or, or you're running wide to turn and people are passing you underneath. Um, squat is horrible. Luckily, this is where things get exciting. Luckily, with the use of this special linkage, which is custom made and designed just for this bike, the Gen 3, um, we have the ability to change the length of the shock, which increases the ride height, which increases the swing arm angle. Now, this is gonna get crazy. Um, so the, the, the forces that are creating acceleration, it's, it's important to know where they're coming from. So you have the countershaft sprocket, the motor, your throttle, pulling the chain forward, which creates the tire driving, clawing also forward. That force acts through the center of this axle there's a force going forward, straight forward. Now you can visualize if the pivot point of the swing arm is higher than the axle, this axle essentially wants to go underneath that pivot point. So that's why you want swing arm angle because that force of acceleration wants to take this axle and sneak it underneath. So it's gonna lift the swing arm like this. As the rear axle wants to go forward, it's lifting the swing arm. So you accelerate, and if you have the proper swing arm angle, when the swing arm wants to scoot underneath that pivot point, it's elevating the height. It's, it's raising the rear. It's creating something called anti-squat. That is where anti-squat comes from. So this is a beautiful thing because you have squat that we unfortunately generated. And now, through the use of this linkage and the ride height that you arrive at, now you've created anti-squat. 
So the bike that was perfectly balanced in a turn and was giving you good feedback and you knew you could finish this turn, when you start to accelerate, keeps that same attitude. It doesn't lose it. It maintains that attitude. Squat, it's trying to squat, but it's also acting against the squat and you maintain the attitude. Now, you can go through a turn, you can see your final apex, you can start the dial for it, and the bike just tracks there. It just goes there. It's beautiful. You maintain your trail, you maintain your drive, and when you exit the turn, you're not wheeling so much. You're not, you're not squatting and wheeling all over the place. Your bike keeps that attitude and accelerates forward, which is fast. Perfect. <sighs> 